both the Criminal Justice Council and the Office of Probation identified the need for gender responsive strategies. Um, and in fact, we had discussed that as well with Project MORE in developing <coughs> strategies to meet the specific needs of, of women. Um, we were well positioned to respond to two grant opportunities as a result of that. We had had prior training with the National Institute of Corrections on developing strategies specifically for women. We had sent three probation officers for National Institute of Corrections training. Uh, we have established a women's committee of the Criminal Justice Council to focus on the needs of women. So when the first grant opportunity for technical assistance came along for the Center uh, for Effective Public Policy, we applied for that assistance, um, which was specifically directed at the pretrial stage. So we secured uh, that assistance, and we now have consultants who will be working with us on site to develop um, policies and procedures and practices for pretrial services for women. And the information and the findings are going to be used to inform um, nationwide uh, inform jurisdictions on how to develop similar practices for women in their own criminal justice systems. We were, we were reaching out to the National Institute of Corrections um, and we talked about trying to do some things in the community. They said, they said to us, we suggest that you contact Dutchess County, New York. Uh, they have a fully integrated system. They work cooperatively. Uh, and when people in areas, other parts of the country were calling uh, out to their, uh, to their helpline, they were being referred to look at what was going on in Dutchess County as a model. And I think since I've been here now in the last uh, seven, or I've been here the last 12 years, but, but uh, the last seven years, they um, were just doing things better and better. And I, I think that's a tribute to all of the members of this community and their commitment. We partner with organizations like yours. Uh, uh, and we allow, certainly, those who are experts and professionals in the field to take the lead. So Project Moore, with the state of New York, took the lead. There was a need in Dutchess County. Uh, we knew that we had a strong partnership uh, that we could build upon, and we knew that the strongest application to go before the state of New York wasn't necessarily from Dutchess County government putting its uh, stationery up front, but rather supporting a collaborative approach with Project Moore. And what happened? We win the state assistance, and we get recognized uh, for that partnership. And that is how uh, we try to uh, make uh, uh, a difference uh, in, in, in what we do. So